So I'm in the French Pyrenees and it's time for an epic ride. This is Epic Ride Ludenville. This epic ride is going to be 36 kilometers with 2,280 meters of ascent, or really, I should say descent, because the plan is to use the gondola and chairlift to get up to the top of the east side of the valley. I'm using the local trail map to find the trails from the summit at Cap de Palais, back down into town. Cruising up the meters, watching them tick up. So this lift drops off at about two and a half thousand meters, I think. It's pretty high up, it's a big hill, big mountain. That aeroplane cruises, they normally about 9,000 meters, which is about the same height as Everest. That's a big hill if you continue this up. It's pretty big. Crap view. Right, so we're here in Ludenville for rounds five and six VWS. Actually, we're sort of in the day in between, so going out for a ride. Kind of, you can see it right down there in the bottom valley. There's an amazing uh, lake. There's riding on that side as well. So I'm gonna, later on, I'm gonna paddle up, try one of those uh, stages out over there. But we're right in the end of the valley, right down the south of France, actually. So I think just the other side of some of those 3,000 meter mountains that you can see is Spain. Uh, you can see we're at the top of one of the biggest stages actually of EWS. They're not, uh, not practicing yet today, but we'll ignore the EWS today and we'll go for a ride, check out some of the other trails in the mountains. Pretty amazing being back in the mountains and there's no one here either. It's just sort of epic scenery, crazy amount of vultures circling. I thought they were condors, but they're not, are they? I'm not sure you even get condors in Europe, but they're vultures, loads of them. Mental, mountain lakes, good trails. It's pretty good so far. Gosh, this climb back up. Didn't look that steep from above it. I'll tell you what, coming up it, it's hard work. I'm in my lowest gear and I am breathing hard and I'm sweating a lot. Half an hour later, I'm getting there. Try to get up over that sort of saddle of the hill there. Then I'm good to go, but I paddled from right down there. It's bigger than it looked. I thought it looked all right when I dropped in. I knew the lift wasn't working. I thought I'd be all right. That was pretty tough. Well, it's an EWS stage right here. Stage one, I guess. So I'm just going to cruise down this fire road, hit that trail. So I've got some fun turns into town. I'm almost out of water. Let's try and find somewhere to fill up. And then you might be able to see that brow with them drop down into the woods, down back into town for some lunch. Then I reckon part two of this epic ride we go up that far side of the valley. I've got a, a cunning plan that uh, the riders are getting shuttled up because that's the pro stage they're riding today. So I'm gonna try my best to use this media plate to blag it onto a shuttle 
to get rid of that climb because that's one of the coals from the Tour de France. Not sure which one to be fair. I know there's a Perisude is over here. I've heard of that one. But uh, we went up there yesterday. You see loads of paintings on the road and stuff. But yeah, try my best not to climb up there. And then I'm going to ride down. There's a big one over there called Dolman. That's epic. So anyway, down for water and get into the woods down to town. This is the runway from James Bond. Skyfall, I guess, can't remember. It's very steep uphill. Prime for a manual though, if there's no one trying to land. come across the hill onto one of EWS stages actually. Uh, they're not racing it today, they're tomorrow. Uh, but actually EWS 100 are coming through in a bit. We've got the media plates on our bikes luckily, so we've blagged it on. Make the most of it, because this trail is amazing. Although this has dried out so much, conditions are prime now. When myself and Matt, the cameraman, tried to ride this just before round five, it was carnage. It was so wet that we basically slid our way down the bottom of it like this. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, it's much better today. I'm looking forward to this. Get down it quick before the 100 riders show up. It's a day off between the two rounds of the EWS. Actually, the whole event is part of the Pyrenees Bike Festival, so there's loads of stuff going on as well. Pits are super busy. Mechanics sort of sorting bikes out in between races and uh, yeah, loads of cool stuff to check out. Nice. I'm not sure my name translates very well to French. She was shouting neon. Or maybe I don't speak clear enough. The third one of these this week, they're flipping good. Black burger. What? Right, lunch done. I reckon we should have a bit of a check out of the festival, see what's going on. Need to 
find one of those mountain spring things. Then make my way up the 500 meter climb on the west side of the valley afterwards, under my own steam to find some of the more natural trails away from the lift network. Right, fueled up. Try and get up this hill the other side now. See what's over there. Managed to blag it onto the rider shuttle. Oh, I saved me about an hour of pedaling up that tarmac road. Dreamy. Right, final descent. As always, you can find this epic ride route with all the information and GPX file on the GMBN commute page if you'd like to ride it. Oh man, that was the best blue trailing I've ever ridden. It definitely was, it was so good. Just drifty, steep, catch berms, perfect dirt. And that was the end of an epic ride. That was called, uh, that was called Nabias. If you ever get yourselves to Ludenville, make sure you ride that trail because it was sick. finish my epic ride off and actually watch the end of the pro stage here at EWS so bonus if you enjoyed watching my epic ride then give us a thumbs up I've definitely enjoyed it it's a good day